hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect. I agree. Minority Report. Minority Report's an awesome movie. Take the sunglasses off. No, I'm not ending up like Ray Charles. You can't play the piano and you're not black. How will I know? Don't answer. I don't care. Anyway, Minority Report opens with my favorite word. Murder. Minority Report begins in a distant future. Yes. Again. This future has pre-crime, where the pre-cocks, oh, I'm sorry, pre-cogs, can see the murder before it happens. This, unfortunately, prevents said murder. Mr. Marks, by mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin. It was take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours, four minutes. No, I didn't do anything. Unfortunately. Hmm. The chief cop, John Anderton, is wonderfully played by Tom Cruise. A great prologue brilliantly sets up the film's characters, setting, and rules of pre-crime. Spielberg also seamlessly blends real sets with CGI and a washed out look with beautiful and heavy... Blinding. Lighting. I mean, I couldn't see shit, but I think that's Colin Farrell as an FBI agent when some asshole Danny Witt were. His job is to investigate the moral correctness of pre-crime and annoy Cruzman. You cut the cute act, Danny Boy, and tell me exactly what it is you're looking for. Flaws. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect, I agree. If there's a flaw, it's human. Cruise man! One of the precogs named Agatha, played by Samantha Morton, scares the hell out of us. When she grabs Anderton to show him a vision of a drowned woman. Cruzman investigates the information by going to another unnecessarily bright room. So you have sensitive eyes. But the movie hurts my soul, too. Careful, Chief. You dig up the past, all you get is dirty. Anyway, there's a future murder of a guy named Leo Crow. Anyway, the future murderer is Anderton himself. You're not gonna kill me. Goodbye. Crew. But at least this leads to a great chase sequence that goes from cars to jetpack <laughs> to weird guns. <laughs> and finally, a fist fight. It's awesome. What kind of guns were those? Your mother's! Anderton gets information about false precog premonitions or minority reports, meaning an alternate future is possible. All three precognitives will see an event in the same way, but once in a while, one of them will see things differently than the other two. Anderton breaks into pre-crime to steal Agatha, but he needs help downloading the minority report. No way, man, no. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Those thoughts about my cousin Elena, they were just thoughts. <laughs> Once there, he taught, he, uh, he, um, Jesus Christ, I can't see anything. Where are my sunglasses? Told you. As it turns out, Anderton has no minority report. Do I have one? No. What? No. Wait, so why do they call this minority report? Well, because minority report represents a choice, a free will. Kind of what the movie's about. Why, what title would you give it? Uh, how about Catch Me If You Can? You're an asshole. I know. <laughs> so, I, stopped, I stopped doing it. <laughs> Another great sequence is when Agatha helps Anerton escape the mall using her premonitions. It's really well done. Take the East End. Everyone else, follow me. Let's go. You know that I can do that. You can do what? 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 I can predict things. Like what? what? So you can predict what you're going to say. You mean what I'm going to say? That's what I said. What you're going to say. Anyway, Anderton arrives at his crime, crime scene. Stop that! that! Fuck you! Cruise Man is really fantastic in this scene. Although I don't know what Samantha Morton is doing. That's Samantha Morton? I thought that was Jude Law the whole time. 
That's awful. Well, as it turns out, Colin Farrell isn't the asshole. All right. Max von Sydow is. But Anderton's wife, who we haven't mentioned until now, saves Cruzman, and von Sydow dies. Pre-crime is shut down, the precogs are released, and Anderton lives happily ever after with his wife. It all wraps up too quickly, but it's not as bad as some people say. Oh, we also forgot to mention Anderton's son who gets kidnapped. Huh. Eh, who cares? 9 out of 10. Spielberg at the top of his game. 9 out of 10. Oh! oh Jesus! Oh. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, that really hurt.